So you mean to tell me that this is about that teensy weensy thing I did in the Garden of Eden? You can't put that behind you? How many years has it been? Do you even remember? Hey, no need for that. We don't need to get testy about who stole what or who was in the wrong there because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't feel like I was in the wrong at all. I was just playing my part, you know, doing the things that I do best. Hey, I'm not the most hated in all creation, come on. It's not like that, right? You're making me self-conscious here. Oh, kill me, ah, uh, that would be a problem. You see, I can't let you do that because that would be so, how do I put this, troublesome? Not only do I have a life that I kind of enjoy now, not gonna lie, you seem like you're vibing too, except for that, you know, burning rage to kill me, uh, get revenge with me, uh, all that. I, it was, okay, let me put it this way. What we had then is different than now, babe. It's a little bit different because, no offense, but things change after a few thousand years. And, you know, the fact that you're an eternal being too, I didn't exactly plan on that. It was a fling, darling, a fling. Don't you get it? Careful. I'm not so liking that whole god laser thing. Um, So excuse it. That's not why we're arguing here. You did something dirty in my books, and I think we should call it even, see? I'm not scared, I'm not. Let's be real here, you should be scared. You're the one in hell right now. Welcome to the big double hockey stick. Oh, it didn't come out as well as I had thought in my head. Whatever. Now, now, don't be insulting me like that. That That is something that's reserved for, you know, someone who actually gives a shit about me, which you clearly don't right now. You want to kill me. That alone is, uh, you know, not in my plans. Listen, babe, darling, honey, I have a family to upkeep and hell to keep helling. And you, you want to kill us like that. Or you at least want to kill me like that. And I can't have that. You gotta understand. This attempt on my life is cute and all that. But it's not how it should be. Can't you see that? Please, pretty please. Come on. Don't be that way. I mean, could be worse, right? Instead of getting you kicked out of Eden, I could have gotten far more involved. Imagine if she was your kid. <laughs> would be wild, wouldn't it? Now, I may be the worst of the worst. Like, by your standards, at least, I am at least the top five worst of the worst. But... That doesn't stop me from understanding and sympathizing that you have a point. You have a point there. Just not the whole killing thing. You have a reason to be angry, so... What do I do to take responsibility? Can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> you know, that the whole hell thing has me all desensitized, and for what it's worth, I'm still learning the ropes. <laughs> it's just a... Bit of a slow learner going on here, so, uh, yeah. What am I supposed to do in this situation? I, I'm not exactly the most knowledgeable in what I'm supposed to, you know, say, do, think, feel. It's all a bunch of mixed, jumbled things that probably are words that I would say wrong, phrases that would come out bad, and most of all, I got this, like, knot in my stomach when I see you like that. You know, holding the blade to my throat is just... I have an allergy against blades, actually. Uh, not that I'm scared. I could get away. But if I'm always running from God, from you, from the mistakes of my past, am I really worth keeping around? Even I have to ask that sometimes. Then I have to realize that people depend on me here. 
Where would they be without me? Most importantly, you and some big fellas may have tried to cross a line you shouldn't have. Just because I talked about our past together, maybe threw it in someone's face one or two thousand times, doesn't mean that I'm all bad. I promise that. I'm not. I'm anything but all bad. And if you consider me, you know, just a decent devil or so, you could give me the chance to make this fucking right. Ah, you're not looking at me like that. You think all of this is just gonna go to hell, literally. Your eyes tell a story that I don't really want to see the ending to, so how does it go? <sighs> really? And not even the fuzzy kind? Come on, where's the taste up in heaven? You're really going to try and keep me here. You know I could just shapeshift, right? <sighs> so, this is the only way you'll forgive me. How about this, then? We go to the embassy you guys set up behind my back. And then we're on your turf without going to heaven where the big G.O.D. is gonna not be too happy to see me. Hey, it's not every day that you get to see an old friend and an old lover. But you don't get me wrong. You look just as hot as the day we eloped together. Uh, it wasn't cheating. Not really. It was just, you know, fooling around. Just like now. <laughs> and if that look tells me anything, you're upset because you still have some feelings in there, huh? You still feel something for me, as much as you hate to admit it. And, uh... uh, uh you know, that was almost my ear being chopped off. Uh, you didn't mean that, right? Uh, almost the other one. Well, I mean, uh, if you put it that way, I uh, guess I uh, gotta take you more serious, huh? Is that what this is all about? Taking you serious for your threats and your power? Yeah, you're powerful, yeah. That's absolutely unquestionable. You've become like a million times more powerful than before, but what's power, really? Power doesn't solve the complicated relationships. It doesn't put everybody in their place when they don't respect you. I mean, it kind of does, but, you know, it's not <laughs> universal, right? So, ugh, uh, mind telling me where this portal opened up? Oh, it's heaven. It's heaven, isn't it? <sighs> Walked right into the trap. It's gonna be hell to get back to hell, you know that, right? I'm not trying to sound ungrateful here for the free transportation, but these uh, power ceiling uh, handcuff things are kind of cramping my style. I, I didn't expect them to be like that, and I definitely need to get back to hell, so no offense, but um, I might have to use it. No. No. Bad. Bad. D don't look like that. Just because you're in control doesn't mean that I can't regain control. And look, hell needs me. And you need me too. We exist cleaning up your mess in heaven. So, you want to tell me what it's like? I haven't been up here in ages. This is a blast to the past if I've ever seen one. Wow, look at the pearly gates. Uh, I remember doing graffiti on these. Uh, I mean, uh, worshiping God and, and things like that. You know, it was a wild time up here. No rebellions, no uh, problems. It was just different, you know, a different kind of time and you can appreciate that, right? Things change. I kind of changed. Uh, got a little bit better, more responsible after well, after Charlie became a thing, so, uh... Uh... That's what you're getting at? You're kidding, right? You're not. Well, 
I guess time to figure that out. Right. Uh, hello, Heaven's Guard. <laughs> you guys are looking mighty intimidating and horrifying, just like I remember you angels when I was one of you. Ah, I became more up. Uh, you see the, the, the look, yeah? It's kind of something. Okay. Um, right. So, um... This isn't God's quarters, is it? Unless he downsized. Uh, might you be hiding me away? Or uh, am I perhaps taking the wrong look at this and you're gonna try and kill me behind his back? I mean, you know, God, he uh, doesn't exactly let grudges settle. And you? <laughs> well, you're taking right after him. Look at you. <laughs> um... Grudges aside, you got anything? You know, you, you want to work out a deal or something? Since, you know, I'm in these power-restricting bracelets and uh, possibly look like handcuffs. You know, just, just a coincidence. Kind of cold and uncomfortable. But, uh, you want to tell me what's going on here? Oh, I deserve that. Um, now, after I took that, Lovely cross punch to my midsection. <clears throat> Do I get to know what's going on yet? Come on. I don't want to be here longer than I have to. After what they did to me, this place is kind of my worst nightmare. I hate it. I'm not exactly open minded, <laughs> but you are. You're the one that started it all with me. You're not just someone who's a bystander. <laughs> oh, yeah. You believed in what I did back then. Didn't you? The only reason you turned on me is because in your eyes, I was the reason. The reason that brought everything down. From perfection, I mean. What I left? Well, I didn't exactly have much of a choice in the matter, and... I deserved that punch. I couldn't do anything. Maybe I could. Maybe that's an excuse, because I've wallowed for a while. Dreaming's tough, you know. And after a few thousand years, it's, uh... Not the easiest thing to go back to normal, you know? You can pretend you did. It's so much easier to wear a mask and pretend that everything's just fine. But it's another thing when you're surrounded by sinners and you feel like everything's out of your control. I get that they grew on me a little bit. I'll give them that. But they're still not what I'm used to. And not to mention Charlie insists on helping them with that damn hotel. <laughs> I admire the Gutspo. Isn't that what you say there? Something like that. But we're not talking about my daughter, are we? This is between me and you. You're not going to do anything crazy here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, me and Lilith, uh, that's difficult one just kind of happened you know is what I would like to say but uh you know when you uh, have those relationship profiles and you have to tick one of them is like single married yeah I, I'm gonna check it so big on the profile that it cuts right through the internet and uh, it's complicated no it's never that when I came to you and we started all this mess. It just ended up going crazy. I didn't expect you to come back like this, and I definitely didn't expect things to get this complicated. Or maybe I'm making excuses. I am a bit of a liar. <laughs> Isn't that what they call me up there? You've been in an echo chamber for 2,000 years, and you still had something you wanted to say to me? Wild. So is that why you took the subjugation? No. 
It was an excuse, wasn't it? You're... so <laughs> full of it. Did you miss me? <laughs> ah. So it was like that. Well, 2,000 years may be a long, long time, but uh, after all this, it isn't so bad to see you. Minus the punch and the kidnapping and the power restricting, uh, you know, minus a few things. So, what is it about this? Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> Garden of Eden aside, you don't forgive me, do you? Yeah. I guess I did leave with a bit of a fanfare going on. And, well, I kind of hate it. I can't admit that it didn't hurt. I didn't want to be banished. Obviously. That's kind of what a punishment means, you know. But, uh... Regardless of that, I was. I'm sorry for leaving you up there. With all this mess. I know you were kind of spoiled in heaven, but... Spoiling only matters when it means something to you. Spoiling and the empty kind that they do there leaves your head empty. You're not that dumb. You weren't back then, and you aren't now. <laughs> you being the first of something, and me being a complete fuck-up. We kinda... are opposites. You sure you're not barking up the wrong tree here? You promise? I promise that I'm not barking up the wrong tree, because I'm the kidnappee, not the kidnapper, you know. So, uh, while I may be known as the king of lies and all that, I promise right now I'm all truth. And I hate to admit it, but my life didn't go as cool as I wanted it to. Not even a little bit. <laughs> it was a complete mess. And as you might have guessed, I, uh, went on more than my fair shares of wallowing in defeat. I get it. It's not only uncool, but it's not like the me you knew back then. I was confident that I was doing something, adding something meaningful. That it wasn't a rebellion, but it got spun that way. You know how media is. And unfortunately, the big man upstairs doesn't really like the way I went about things, and yeah, that's how we ended up here, like this. That's why even now, when I see you, I'm... It's hard to look you in the eyes, because I feel like I was never there. Like my choice, indirectly, while it may have been the right choice, and I firmly believe it was, it, it sucks that it was like this. I don't know any other way to say it. It was terrible. These years away. No, <sighs> oh, uh, about that. You want my honest feelings or you want the bullshit that I spout to everyone else? <laughs> Easy choice, huh? <laughs> Gonna make me talk. Yeah, I guess it's kind of out of order. I did already offer, after all. But what if I was lying? <laughs> uh, doesn't work on you. Never did. You saw like you were looking right through me. You still do. God, this takes me back. Uh, here, it's... Not much, but I brought it with me. It's a ducky that floats in water and shoots fire out of its beak. It doesn't make up for the 2,000 years or so I've been away, but... 
What's with that reaction? Come on. That wasn't the fire and brimstone I was expecting. But I... <laughs> What do you think I'm supposed to think with that? Supposed to feel? Supposed to this? Supposed to that? You want my honesty? Even if it's not pretty? <sighs> That's brave to ask of Lucifer Morningstar. <sighs> Fine. I lived with that regret. Sure, there was ups and downs, but I never forgot that day. It's my biggest blunder and my biggest pride, and also a scar that never really healed properly. So, with that kiss, I'll admit it, I feel washed up. Kind of. As confident as I may seem, I have had my share of thoughts that aren't so confident. And I may or may not have had unrequited feelings for you that were complicated and I never dared to delve into that because one bit of a mishap is... <laughs> That's how you fall, you idiot. At this rate, you're gonna end up in... Hell, you know. You better turn around while you still can. Hey, I'm saying this because... I genuinely care about you. Turn back, throw me back in the pit, and leave me. Never worry about me again. What happened in Eden stays in Eden, okay? Do that and... <sighs> of course you would say that. Now you know that's an emotional response. It's not... You're not thinking this through. You're not. Do you think I want you to fall into the pits of hell like I did? Do you think for a second that would just be fun? Sunshines and rainbows all around. Don't fuck with me. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? I want so badly to just go along with what you're saying. I do. And if I'm honest, I completely almost fell for it to the point where I would beg you to if I was a weaker devil. But you have to understand. There's no going back. There's nothing you can do to get back up here. You'll be labeled and branded. Might even rip off your wings. And then what? You're gonna regret it someday. Idiot. <laughs> Stupid idiot. That's what you are. <sighs> My words aren't even reaching you, are they? Drifting closer to my lips. You don't get it. You don't get it. I don't know how to get it through to you. And I don't know how much longer I can fight against how much I wish you were there. Not because I wish hell upon you. It sucks sometimes. It's dark. It's kind of brimstony. And it definitely doesn't have the appeal of, you know, heaven's food court and stuff. <laughs> excuses. Is that what I'm doing? Making excuses? No. 
Honey, I'm trying hard here to not be a fuck up twice. To not make the same mistake of dragging you down and letting you go back up instead because I regret a lot of things. If you want the truth, that's the truth. That's the bitter truth that I can't even sleep at night sometimes because I regret it so much. And what do you think would happen? What do you think would happen if I just, if I just give in to this right now? I watch you lose everything you've ever had and everyone you've ever loved just, just forgets about you. They toss you in the hole and then what? And then everything goes on like you never existed. And you're telling me you're okay with that. That that's your revenge on me. You're an idiot. I can't even level with you. You're the worst kind of an idiot because you think that what you're doing right now is worth it. Just like I thought. <sighs> Listen, I'm only gonna say this once. You obviously have the control here. You could do whatever you want. You could just as easily end me right now. Of course, I would try and escape. Maybe I'd succeed. But you clearly are choosing the much more complicated and nuanced approach of trying to come down here with me and... <sighs> Look, they won't suspect a thing if you just accidentally... F <sighs> there isn't an easy solution. I know what those eyes are saying, and you better quit looking at me like that. It was 2,000-something years ago. At least 4,000, probably. I lost count a long time ago, and honestly, you're not making this very easy right now. Because you're my first love. As stupid as it is to say, I've never forgot about you. I've tried to replace you, tried to not think about it, and tried to make bullshit explanations for why you weren't. And now, after being partially battered and caught in a revenge scheme of yours, I realized it, that you're offering me basically what I've always dreamed of, a second chance with all this? Second chances aren't that easy. Come on now. Don't, don't say that. Fine. Fine. I can't stop you just like I can't protect you. If you're gonna do this, then why? Why do you have that stupid smile on your face? Idiot. I couldn't protect you. What was that for? You don't need protecting. Bullshit. You're up against the big G.O.D. And all the bullshit that comes with it. I get that heaven has all those rules and I talk shit about it all the time, but that doesn't mean that... doesn't mean you deserve to go down to that place. Hockey sticks... I mean, hell is no joke. I... Idiot. It's almost too late. They're going to catch on. You need to go now! Leave... Now, I'm warning you, I'll use everything I've got. There won't even be anything left of this place. I gotta seem like the bad guy so you can get out of this. Don't do this, please. I'm only trying so hard because 
I never stopped caring about you. You wanted to hear that, didn't you? You wanted the truth, the bitter truth, is I always resented that I couldn't enjoy creation with you. I was just left in this pit of bullshit. You're not gonna hear it. You're just hugging me like an idiot. The hell am I supposed to do now? You're a runaway. Just get in the portal. What did I just do? They're gonna know based on feeling my presence that you brought a forbidden, banished member of hell into heaven. I don't know why you thought that was the way to do this, but now you've almost certainly been banished. Don't think that halo is going to stay on you very long, and... Why'd you do it, idiot? Maybe, just maybe, if I plead your case to the big man and... Do something about it. You could... What's that supposed to mean? You think it's just... That easy? Being a fallen angel sucks. Why would you? Someone... Who knew all the good and bad in the world like this... You know what consciousness is because of... I'm sorry, but I... It's complicated. I don't even think that cuts it now. With you on top of me, down in the pits of hell, a fucking archangel. You're kidding me, right? This is not how it's supposed to go, and God is going to be even more pissed, and I wouldn't be surprised if he sends the whole army of the heavens, and it causes a big, big mess to be made. And somehow, some way, you got me so desensitized at this point that I... <laughs> I've never been... I'm so happy to be an idiot. <laughs> Stupid. You didn't even bring down half the angels with you. You're doing it all wrong. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I guess you were just a human at one point too, so that's why those human tendencies still got you. Still got all the pesky emotions and, you know, consciousness that, from that kind of stuff. Look, I may suck at talking right now, but it's only because you, you stole that away from me. When I look at you now, it's everything I ever wanted. I just... I'm worried that when you fall, you'll regret it like I did. <sighs> Stupid. Don't even think about that. It's my responsibility as the king of hell to, uh, protect everybody who's down here. So, as much as I complain about them and that they are sinners, guess you're a sinner too. And... Me as well. Just look at you. What a mess. <laughs> and I probably look like more of a mess. Still uh, got those tears in my eyes. Huh? Just, just got some dirt in my eye. It's nothing, nothing big. It's just. Uh, <laughs> you colossal idiot. <laughs>
I'll, I'll never forgive you for this, you know. So prepare to take some responsibility for... Yeah, wait, that's basically what you were saying to me at the start, so... Here goes nothing, I guess. <sighs> that's not what they meant by responsibility in the great big book of things, but... I'm not opposed to this kind of responsibility. <laughs> Kissing you feels like the biggest sin I've ever made. That's saying something. As the one blamed for, like, most of the sins in the world. <laughs> <clears throat> For an archangel, damn. You're pretty feisty, huh? <laughs> Not complaining, even slightly. <laughs> Feeling your weight on my lap like that is... Oh, it's shocking. I have not gotten any action in a long time because of uh, the old Lilith situation. And don't worry about Lilith. I'm not thinking about Lilith. I'm thinking about you. Don't need to be so handsy. But that feistiness is pretty damn sexy. <laughs> I never got a chance to have this kind of moment with you. So I want to savor it slowly. Like stupid Disney movie slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can be a Prince Charming. I do got the looks for it, don't I? And the personality, probably. I just... I wish the guilt wasn't there. <sighs> Struck a nerve? Not complaining. Just, uh... I want you to be sad. I want you to be happy. Like, really happy. And more than just a kiss. Now, wait. That's quite an unholy thing you're doing. For it to be just, you know, uh... Archangel's duty is not to d do that. <laughs> Suit yourself. If you're gonna be unholy, then don't mind if I do. <laughs> Unholiness just runs in the family and in the fallen from heaven type crew. <sighs> I don't regret that kiss. And that scares me. It does. Because if I don't regret it, how am I going to fix this when everything comes crashing down? You and what army? <laughs> You're so full of it. I can't. Get my hands off you. <sighs> I'll admit it. You beat me fair and square. If anyone was deceiving here, it's you. I was the one getting deceived and also wrapped in this web of deception. <laughs> I guess it's more honesty than deception, huh? Can't really lie with a kiss. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not crying, you are.
Don't be stupid. Of course, it's not like that. Well, if you want to make it like that, is that the sort of offer you're trying to offer me? Or uh, am I looking too far into it? Oh, uh, oh, oh, shit.